All right, let's go. We are back with another episode of the No One Told Me Hockey Podcast. Chris, how you doing today? I know you had a long night, but you're here with us today, so I appreciate you taking the time. I'm doing well, Jack. Yeah, uh, got back last night at like 5 a.m., long, long road game. Um, played in Balzano, Italy. It's like six, around six hours, six and a half uh-huh. or so. Yeah, I played there at like, I think it was like eight o'clock start, seven forty-five. Yeah, I got home around five a.m. It was a long one. <laughs> There's really no win-win on when you start that game in terms of traveling no. there or traveling home. Like you're in a you're in a lose-lose in terms of the That's travel true. day. Yeah. No, it's def- yeah, it definitely wasn't ideal for us, but uh, had to do it. Yeah, we left pretty early in the day at like eleven or so. I want to okay. say ten thirty. Yeah, ten thirty maybe. Then got there. Yeah. Five something. <laughs> Get ready so, to go two hours before. You yeah. you got your first goal, right? Yes, I did. <laughs> Walk me through it because I know you texted me text me about it, but give me a little give me a little rundown on the first yeah. one of the season, monkey off the back. Yeah, that was definitely a, a good feeling to get that first one. Um, it was in the power play, just kind of rotated around the top. Uh, like I play bumper, but like mm-hmm. today in today's game, you see a lot of teams like there's no always set positions. It's always better. Yeah. I think if you can move around and just create those two on ones and just get to the open ice. So I was kind of doing that. Uh, rolled over the top of uh, our point guy and just did kind of a. Uh, a uh, little cross and drop with them opened up some space for me, so I was able to walk downhill a little bit, put one, put one on net, and uh, got got a little bit of a lucky bounce. Got hit off one of the defenseman's sticks in front, and and it popped in. I think it tipped up a little bit, so I know I definitely threw the goalie off a little bit. But hey, I'll yeah. take it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> after that, that, I was yeah. starting to starting to play better as soon as that happened. It's crazy how that happens. Like, did you feel like yeah, a sense of relief up. that you got the first one of the year? For yourself oh for sure yeah for sure yeah. definitely oh, yeah the next unreal. couple shifts i was buzzing made some plays right away and i was like yeah. okay let's go that's unreal so, that's unreal you're an active bumper you know you're yeah, not exactly. a stationary bumper no no <laughs> braden point you watch braden point yeah. play on tampa yeah. he's unreal at that mm-hmm. their power up. play is just sick in general yeah they so dynamic so well yeah that's yeah. unreal congrats on that um thank you i know that's probably yeah, not to feeling. mention yeah. Not to mention, we only had nine forwards yesterday, too, so that was a bagger. <laughs> long one, long roadie, nine yeah. forwards, first period. I don't know if I've ever been that tired in my life. <laughs> That's so but, crazy, honestly. Well, like, yeah, I don't know the last time you played with nine forwards in a serious, game. Met, mites, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I don't remember. Usually That's four unreal. lines rolling. On Olympic ice, yeah. too. So I'm just yeah, yeah, on bag. Olympic sheet. Yeah, exactly. Seven hour. Yeah, that's unreal. Well, yeah. that's good for you. I'm pumped for you on that. I'm sure more will come. So I want to get into this today. We were talking about it a little bit earlier today in terms of routine. So I want to talk to you about your routine now and then maybe some differences that you had back in the day. And now that you're kind of playing pro, gotten older, kind of figured out, you know, your game more, yourself, understand yourself better kind of what your routine looks like now, maybe compared to a couple of years ago or in juniors or youth hockey or whatever it might be. Yeah, for sure. I think it's a great topic, uh, especially for the younger players out there. Mm-hmm. Trial and error. I mean, everyone's different and stuff, so you got to figure out what works for you. Um, but yeah, like say if we have a uh, start from the beginning of the day, pregame skate. Yeah. Usually there's a pregame skate. I, I typically don't like to pregame skate. So if we have the option, I'll usually take the option on that. Maybe just do like a a bike or something. Just Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe go on a walk or something during the day. Um, Because if I had a long week of practice and then there's a pregame skate, I just, I just like saving all my energy for the game. Um, Yeah. Load it all up. Uh, But like today we have a day off. So um, tomorrow we have a pregame skate. So I don't mind that actually. Um, Mm -hmm. But if I'm going out there, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to go 100% for sure. Just if I am doing the pregame skate, just get my touches a little bit, get on the ice. I like 15, yeah. 20 minutes max. Maybe shoot a little pucks at the end, mm-hmm. shoot a few pucks, uh, and then get off. Um, and then after that, I typically like to eat my pregame meal around 11, 11 30 earlier in the day. And I actually started last year because one of my good teammates, Carl Neal, told me that he doesn't like to eat a lot of protein on game days. So I, I, I messed around with that last year. I 
tried it out my first one of my first games this season and uh i absolutely loved it so i just kind of eat more more carbs if i am okay. having any any protein on game day it's more in the morning maybe with some eggs or like a or a yogurt or something like that yeah um but then my my, my pregame meal will just be like a lot of i try to go like gluten-free pasta and i got this tuna out like a can of tuna it's called real marts <laughs> <Dude, laughs> it's actually no. good it's really no, good it's dude, tuna can of tuna yeah tuna with olive oil no. it's actually good and uh and veggies i can't even imagine cracking <laughs> open a can of tuna i know a lot of guys day, think dude. i'm crazy but oh my god That's i always love like tuna sandwiches and stuff i mean I, I get sick of it sometimes but i just do it because <sighs> tradi you know <laughs> yeah dude that's so, a trough that's a tough like uh what do you like a routine to be in a tuna yeah. opening up a can of tuna every game <laughs> like imagine if you well, play for 10 more years how many yeah, more exactly. cans of tuna you're gonna yeah play? i was starting to get sick of them last year but these ones aren't it's not like straight tuna there's really not much tuna in it. it's more like yeah. uh it's like olive oil with peas carrots uh okay so there's other olives stuff there. and a little bit of tuna in there so then okay. i just put i just throw that with uh some pasta and I'll change, try and change up the sauce. Sometimes I usually go pesto, some pesto. Uh, so you go just, light sauce, like because like I know red yeah. sauce like fucks my stomach up bad. Yeah. Like yeah, I can't me. do I can't do red anymore. I can't. Yeah. I actually heard one of my buddies was telling me, and I actually agree with it because like for me sometimes it gives me like heartburn a lot, mm-hmm. and and I heard that tomatoes turn your muscles off. <laughs> I'm no not sure way. the exact science on it. Yeah, <laughs> but I heard it could make you a little, you know. The yeah. last days go there, so I never I felt good away after from the red I sauce. Ate. Yeah, I never felt good after yeah. I eat red sauce anytime. Yeah, yeah, I'm the same way. I hate so I stay that. away I from. That. Yeah, same way. Get heartburn. Just yeah, not just not feeling great after. Also, so. I I don't know if this is true too, but I heard with red sauce, if you get like stomach aches from it, if you put sugar on it, sprinkle sugar on it, it gets rid of the like I don't know what the the lack acid or something that gives you a stomach huh. ache it gets rid yeah of that it. could don't be. know if that's true or not either but that's what i've heard that, as well so i used to do that, that but that could work yeah 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 because yeah, it is really acidic it could yeah mess with some people fucking ruins me so I'll definitely yeah. try staying away from from the red mm-hmm. um but yeah crush a lot of <laughs> i try and get as much down as i possibly can just eat as much mm-hmm. pasta as possible because you know, so is that the so it. so if you're eating at like would you say like noon oh, like eleven thirty yeah I usually eat like eleven and what time's your game at like what 7, time 15. for like a seven game oh so you're yeah, eating seven fifteen yeah real early pretty early yeah pretty early yeah I try to and, I and, want it to be fully digested I want to and I want to feel light by the time so after that I'll I'll eat that eleven eleven thirty noon latest and then I'll I'll lay down watch a movie or something throw some TV on if I'm watching a show. For like mm-hmm. thirty minutes to an hour or so, I try I try to get to like one o'clock, and then from there I, I shut it down. Take a, try and take okay. a like an hour and a half nap, two hours sometimes. <laughs> yeah, oh, but yeah, dude, I always it's always go good for a when you get one. a big one in. Yeah, when you get yeah, a big exactly. one in, you feel good. You're like that was that's what I needed right there. Yeah, because I just hating I hate waiting all day too. That's the other thing. Oh, too. I know. So I'm like, I just get rid of it by sleeping. <laughs> true, true. Right, you're not you a couple hours out. Not yeah, exactly. Even maybe more. I've had a couple threes in there one time. <laughs> you wake up, you're like, where am I? Full night of sleep, yeah. almost. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just hate. I hate. I don't like the. I don't like the later, the late games, and that's what they are mostly mm-hmm. in pro. But it was nice yeah. in college. We played at one o'clock all the time, so we'd wake up, eat like on a Saturday right or something. Rank. Perfect like Saturdays. Most yes, Friday, Saturday, or not Friday. Not Sometimes Friday. actually, because we shared with the the American League team the thunderbirds mm-hmm. yeah. and they'd always be playing at seven so we'd uh, play at one okay. and i swear like at least half of our home games were one it was awesome that's perfect don't get to wait like, around yeah then you have the whole mm-hmm. honestly you have the rest of the day yeah. after that too like exactly you, come, you walk outside the sun's still out like it's actually yeah. perfect exactly I love that. that was so nice we have those once in a while here like mm-hmm. we're playing at five o'clock tomorrow so not too bad not too bad but uh yeah, going back to the to the game routine. Um, yeah, get get my nap in. Uh, yeah, you got to wake I'm up. A big nap guy. You got to have a nap. I think. Yeah, have to wake up, throw the suit on. Maybe I'll shower. If not, <laughs> throw the winter hat on. <laughs> Depends how you're feeling. Yeah, <laughs> I just try to be honestly. I just try and be relaxed as, as relaxed as possible on game day. 
-hmm. that's just helped me over the time. Sometimes I've been way too just thinking about it too much, too focused. And, uh, just some, sometimes that doesn't work. Like sometimes you just gotta be more relaxed and just whatever it kind of go, go with the flow. And that's, that's definitely helped for me for my game. If you battle the flow, like if you say like the, like you wake up, you don't feel like showering, but you're like, shit, I have to shower and do this certain thing or else I'm not going to have a good game. It just puts exactly. so much stress on you, way more stress. But like, if you just go with like, I don't feel like showering, like I, today I don't feel like it, like I'm not going to stress myself out about it. That's just what I want to do today. Like, just go with the flow and let, like, just let it ride. There's no need to like force certain things upon just because it's a game day. I think it can stress you I, out. hundred percent. Yeah. I agree with you a hundred percent there for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I know there's a lot of players like that. <laughs> uh yeah. call them men- mental midgets you call them <laughs> sometimes yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah for some people the- it works for some people yeah. it works for sure but i know for me and it sounds like you like it doing like forcing certain things just mm-hmm. it just can add more stress than you exactly than needed besides the real martuna <laughs> yeah yeah exactly because I'll, I'll, like, yeah. yeah. I'll go back to that couple yeah i'll go back to that more though. for like yeah. that's more for like you know that what makes you mm-hmm. feel good like, you yeah, know, exactly. you, you know, you're not going to have any problems with that. Like, that's just exactly. like a, a for sure thing. Whereas like some of these other things are just like unnecessary. Exactly. You're just thinking way too much. No, yeah, but going, right. going back to the, the pregame meal. Um, the, yeah, the mm-hmm. first time I tried it um, and I was, I was absolutely fly. I played probably the best game of my life <laughs> that game. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, it had to be, <laughs> had to be the happens, tuner. Right? No, yeah. I swear I was like, I felt so much. I felt amazing energy. I was, I wanted to keep going. I was, my mm-hmm. legs are moving. I wasn't getting tired. I was really explosive. I remember. Um, but yeah, so that worked for me, less protein. I, the science behind that is, I guess the protein takes longer to digest and just more carbs. Uh, it, it just, it's just easier to burn. So, I mean, there's, in the tuna, yeah. there's not, there's like 10 grams of, of protein maybe in that can and there's some veggies okay. and olive oil in there. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then I just eat as much pasta with it as possible. So, Mm-hmm. you get that down um and then i always bring like a like some sort of carb energy bar or the, we'll have something at the rink um yeah in case i get hungry maybe before warm-ups or after the first period or something like that just, but there's no like set sure. time that you have to eat again like no. you're, you're just kind of going exactly what you feel at that point yeah just how i feel exactly mm-hmm. just how i feel yeah i think that's huge so yeah um what's next Okay, get you to got, uh, Okay, so we we got our nap, you threw on your hat. Yeah. We get to the <laughs> rink. <laughs> We're on our way to the rink. Yeah. Maybe get we could talk about like dynamic warm-up, pre-game warm-up stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um in the past Yeah, in the past for me I, like I've experimented from uh, Well, I got to ask you really hard quick. Warm-ups. I got to ask you I got to ask yeah. you really quick. Did you guys do in college? Did you guys have like a team warm up that you had to do together? Yeah. And like yeah, now, now do you have that as well or no? No, no, exactly. So honestly, it was fine. So that's what I would always, I would just be relaxed, chill. And then we'd have our, our, our team warm up and it wouldn't be long, 10 minutes, maybe, you know, and yeah. you get the group all together. Let's uh-huh. fucking go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rah, rah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get that going. Get the energy going. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah that's so i've been used to that my whole career but now to pro it's i'm kind of on my own now and uh-huh uh, i ex- experiment last year a little bit like trying to get i tried doing a couple hard warm-ups i remember at the beginning of the year and like i'd be sweating uh off the ice by the time and by the time i get in the ice uh like i felt i felt tired <laughs> like i felt like i just killed yeah, myself yeah. I'm like what am i doing <laughs> i don't have any power right. left so then right. I just, I started to be, the same day I tried the, my new pregame meal. I said, you know what? I'm just going to be relaxed today. <laughs> I'm just chilling. I'm <laughs> sipping my coffee. I had like three coffees, but I was in my mm-hmm. stall, just, just shooting the right. shit with my teammates. Some of my buddies just relaxed, uh, yep. having conversations. Honestly, now you're thinking about the game too much, talking about some other things. And I know like some old school people might be like, that's what are you doing? You're getting, they're not focusing on the game, stuff like yeah. that. But yeah, yeah. You know? whatever works for you. Uh, mm-hmm. I think you gotta, you gotta do what works for you. Um, yeah. but for me personally, I like to be more relaxed now on game day, uh, sip my coffees. I don't like doing a long, a big dynamic warm up where I'm sweating. Uh, what I do now is I just, I do some, I do some lunges. I do kind of, kind of like our dynamic warm up we did in college, like yeah. 10 minutes, 
fish, get some right. lunges, get my legs juiced up a little bit. And then I, do, and then I go, I take my hockey stick and I get my top hand warmed up. So that's something new I started doing in pro. And I, I, that really helped me a lot. I okay. feel cause from the second I get to the ice, I can feel the puck better. I'm, uh, I feel a lot more explosive. I'm snapping mm-hmm. the puck harder. I'm just a lot more crisp. So yeah. in the top hand, I talk about that a lot uh, with skill development too, um, is getting how important your top hand strength is. And mm-hmm. so since I've started doing that, that's, um, I think that's been big help. So yeah, nothing too crazy with, with the uh, dynamic off ice warm ups, get the legs going, yeah. get my wrist going a little bit. And then, yeah, just relax. Maybe, maybe talk to some of the guys a little bit. Um, stay loose, loose and focus at the same time, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Calming I totally control. agree with that. Yeah. yeah there's always right. a little balance. Hockey's weird sure. too. Where like, where like you warm up then you have to get ready. Then you go on for on ice warmups. Then you have to go sit in the locker room for another 15, 20 minutes. Then you go out on the ice, the national anthem and stuff. Then the game starts. So it's like, it's like in a wave where it's like, okay, you warm up, then you cool down, then you warm up then you cool down. So it's like, for, for me personally, like doing a big warm up <clears throat> never really helped because by the time I got to the warm up or the game, that warm up that I did an hour ago now isn't really translating to me on the ice now. Yeah, I you know, I'll agree with you for sure on that one. Um, now, now for other like people, a- now for other people, it might having them do a hard warm up, you know, just because we like to maybe take a different approach you know other people might a hard warm-up might get them dialed in for the game might get them focused or might get everything woken up that you know because they've been sitting around all day or something but you know i totally agree with that i i remember back like when i was playing juniors i would put a lot of pressure on myself to like okay i have this exact same warm-up every time do these things and it just like stressed me out it, it would like give me more stress than like got to tie your shoe the same way. Or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just like something and like, like I, and I always thought like, okay, to be a good player, like you have to have these routines or like these um mm-hmm. what are the, like rituals, and you have to yeah, yeah exactly. you have to stick to those because that's what good hockey players do. But what I found mm-hmm. out like moving later in, in like college and stuff is like I'm way better, just kind of more relaxed, and then as we get closer and closer to the game, like yeah, my focus will dial in a dial in more and more but like throughout that time i still like to like you know like you said like kind of bullshit with the boys in the locker room maybe play some sewer kind of just be be know that there's a game coming up but like still kind of don't stress yourself out too much considering it's an hour away like what do you i don't think it's beneficial exactly. just to sit there and like <laughs> try to like yeah. dial in for an hour you're gonna exactly. be mentally bagged by the time you even get to the game because you're just fucking <laughs> in visualizing all oh. these things for an hour like it's like studying exactly. imagine studying for a test for an hour yeah. like you're bagged by the time you're done studying so if you do that it's same true. thing for warm-ups i mean your your mind is going to be bagged i think yeah. but no, for other people it, it works there. No, yeah. it does. Yeah, other people and work. Every, but... Yeah, everything we're saying, like it's all, it's all relevant to you. Like everyone, mm-hmm. everyone's different. Everyone's got certain things that work for them. Um, yeah. overall, you might find some of these things might help with more people than others, but for sure, mm-hmm. everyone's different. You got to find what works for you. Maybe yeah. some of you these tips experiment. will help you. Yeah, exactly. you got to experiment for sure. Yeah, but going through, I could see you know both of us. I think we're pretty similar with with our mm-hmm. approach there to the game yeah um now and that, i got a question for you yeah i have one um, more thing to talk about for yeah the, go ahead yeah for the go dynamic ahead. uh the okay, other yeah. thing i was saying too like so you do so say you do that hard dynamic warm-up like for me it's it just it feels like it's different muscles like for me to warm up the best it's on the ice because those are the muscles i'm using totally they're firing agree. a certain totally way agree. they're not yeah. putting the same pressure you know what i mean by that yeah. so that's for me that's yeah. always been the best way once i get once i get going on the ice then i'm going but if it's yeah and the same reason i hate lifting before skating i i hate it <laughs> i hate it and we have to do that a lot for for, for here we, we work out before practice mm-hmm. and i want to see if i could try and do my workouts after because i'm just not <laughs> yeah i'm not the I'm not the same player I'm, i know i'm not at my full potential when i'm on the ice and that's mm-hmm. when i want to be my best um, the right. I mean, that's great. the important. Yeah, exactly. right. That, it's great, but it, the ice is where it all happens. Exactly. You know? no, yeah, for that's sure. a good so, point. Um, that's a really good point. Yeah. I th- I honestly think, like, for me too, like talking about, I honestly think the on ice warm up 
is way more important than the off ice warm up for a game. Like that's right. That's where like you can really tell and feel how you're feeling that day. Like you can feel like if your skates, you know, if the edges aren't there today or like, you know what I mean? Like your hands, you're like, why is this puck not moving the way I want it to move right now? Like you can kind of get a gauge of, okay, you know, I might not be all, my legs feel tired. You can get a gauge on how you're feeling that day. And maybe you can now take that into the game or plan for the game. Be like, okay, like my legs aren't feeling good today. So I got to keep it simple. I got to get pucks deep. I can't try to skate it skate that's, in the zone and create today you know so i think a it's really, a good gauge there yeah. right there no it is a really good one i remember some games if like my hands are like what the hell why do i feel like i've stone hands today or something <laughs> yeah, so i know so maybe i'm I'm under handling at that game but it still works and it ends up benefiting me because right. i could feel myself uh before for sure yeah, yeah. Good, good call there that one yeah i totally agree with that um so i got a question for you in between main i guess mainly in between i guess it would be like warm-ups and the game do you do What's that look like? Do you do any like visualization things or like how do you dial it in in between after that warm ups? Period? Yeah, or um, for like youth, like for youth players, like they just go on the ice, warm up, and then hop into the game. So before the game, uh-huh. are you doing anything like closer to game time to help you dial in a little bit? Or you know? honestly, when I do my when I do my top hand warm up routine, that's when I kind of visualize. I start visualizing mm-hmm. myself making some plays, getting pucks on the wall hitting my center underneath with speed or, or wall slipping a guy, whatever it is. But I, I try and yeah. put myself in little situations um, and try and visualize okay. on the ice, playing with my head up, um, yeah. taking shoulder checks, just like little habits. So couple, I just mm-hmm. try and throw a couple of those in, not overthink it, but throw a couple of those in. And I think that helps me dial in a little bit and get, get the game juices going for sure. Mm-hmm. Nothing too crazy yeah, I at all. I totally agree. That's exactly what I would do. I'd run myself through like little scenarios. So like, especially in the D zone, because like offense was more like kind of a natural thing. Like defense is where you, at least for me, Mm -hmm. like where you kind of have to be more kind of dialed in on, okay, here's where people are at. This is Mm -hmm. where I'm supposed to be. So that was where I would, I'd really focus on the D zone and try to visualize like, okay, if my guy's in the corner and the puck goes up to the point, like Mm -hmm. I'm grabbing my guy, boxing out, you know, head checking, especially I'd always be head checking, going back to pucks. Yeah. stuff like just simple little plays you know exactly uh no that's good that's really good i just want to talk about one more thing so say you mm-hmm. say your game finishes right and mm-hmm. are you are you doing anything after your game to kind of analyze how you play or kind of get an understanding of where you're at that game or are you kind of just letting it go for the night and you know maybe thinking about it tomorrow or how do you do that how do you think how do you go about that Kind of depends, depends what kind of game it was. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. 100%. Uh, but if I'm not playing the next couple of days, I might go for like a lift or something like that. Simple lift, okay. maybe just some, some front, maybe some back squats with a box, some box jumps, mm-hmm. uh, maybe some simple bench press, maybe some pull ups, something simple. Cause I heard it's pretty good to do, to do lifts after, after your, after uh-huh. you play a game because your muscles are broken down. And right. I think if you break them down a little bit more, they're going to, yeah, that's what they say it'll come back stronger <laughs> right what right they say okay they just rip them up more but yeah i started yeah. doing that last year actually and I, I liked it nothing crazy go for like 25 minutes or something okay after and then are you doing like are you i always watch my shifts though the next day yeah for sure you, next yeah. day you do yeah you, like i just watch watched my shifts day. from this morning yeah whenever okay. i get them on insta yeah i always watch my shifts see what i could have done yeah, I mean mm-hmm. it's good. I think it's I think it's important that um, players do video and analyze their video. Um, yeah, Huge. or get coaches to analyze their video. Yeah. Uh, I, like myself, I helped uh, one of my one of my very close friends uh, and players that I coach this summer um, with with some video analysis, and you could just see a lot of a lot of little little details. But over time, mm-hmm. that, like something as simple as stick detail. Or how right. are you going into puck battles or shoulder mm-hmm. checks? One big thing is taking back ice, call it taking back ice, winding up your speed, coming low, and it's your timing, right? And you yeah. can, it's hard to see those things in games, but when you see it from, from a further perspective or someone else is looking yeah. at it, I think it really helps for sure. Yeah. So yeah I, try I think I shifts. honestly think, like mm-hmm. you just said, like getting someone else to watch it with you or, you know, break it down for you and give, have their opinion on it um mm-hmm. is a really good way to get other 
outside feedback from yourself because sometimes yourself you can you're looking at the wrong things almost when you're watching yourself play you know you're kind of watching yeah. like, oh i look funny when i made that, that pass chance. or yeah, yeah you're right like i look weird when i or, let me go or, see this chance yeah i know no, yeah sure. exactly it's like you only focus on like yeah focus on certain it. things for sure for sure mm-hmm. and i would say like if you're gonna get an eye on it right like it, i would say like obviously if your parents if you have a parent who's well versed in hockey and can understand the game like that yeah they're probably a good person to go to but you know sometimes getting it from your parents like they also yeah. have that they also have those blinders on as well and they yeah. might not understand the game at a high enough level where some of the tips they're giving you aren't really beneficial tips so and it, that, half the time and half the time the player is just sick of hearing their parents talk so true. it goes <laughs> yeah, in yeah, one true. ear and out the other ear like it might be something good that the the mom or dad is saying, but just because it's Very coming true. from that voice, that's in yep. and out so quick. <laughs> that is so, so true. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's a great point. Yeah. So if you yeah. could find someone, even like your coach or whoever it might be in if, if say you're a youth player and they, they don't stream your games, just have your mom or dad take, you know, even like five clips of five shifts. You can yeah. still learn so much from just five oh, yeah. shifts of your game. It doesn't have For to sure. be the whole game. It only has to be a few a few shifts. You can learn a lot from those shifts. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and then you know, no, find some, a trusted person to help you break yeah. down that game for sure. Exactly, for sure. No, with for some sure. Good yeah. hockey knowledge, definitely. I agree. I can agree with that. No, you got yeah. anything else on your routine no, or good. anything like that that you want to touch on? <laughs> try to uh, try to be relaxed. I'm gonna mm-hmm. go probably put on a movie here tonight and. Get a good meal in. Get a good meal the night yeah. before. That's a good one too. Night before, can't really talk yeah. talk much about that. But I think getting a good night's sleep and getting. That's, a good I think meal that's the too. most important night's sleep for me was like always the biggest, mm-hmm. the biggest thing. Not like cheating on your diet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seriously. Like try not to eat too much sugar. I know, and you see players with bags of candy or chocolates <gasps> and stuff like that. <laughs> moderation on the road trips especially yeah <laughs> crushing candy yeah. on the bus yeah. you're like jesus christ yeah no it's fine because at the end of the day like i like we say like 95 percent of the game is mental and yeah if you want to have a little bit of some candy or a chocolate pe- whatever yeah if it's going to make you feel good and calm and relaxed that's fine but <laughs> yeah, not exactly 20 of them <laughs> you know? yeah yeah because then you might be a little slow the next day <laughs> yeah there's a balance between uh being relaxed and taking it too far a little bit yeah with some exactly. things for sure. <laughs> yeah that's unreal oh, all right yeah. well i think we uh i think we covered a good good portion there on routines um warm-ups and kind of getting your head like kind of how to approach it obviously it's totally different for everyone out there you know i think the biggest thing for especially like youth players and stuff like i don't think you need to have this just because you see like nhl players have these super crazy super and stuff like yeah like you don't <laughs> You don't feel like you have to do that as well just because they're doing it. Um, Experiment, Mm -hmm. find what works for you because you got a lot of time to do so. So find what works for you. Find, especially up up in your head, what works for you is really the most Mm -hmm. important part. Like what helps you get your mind right to play your best game is the biggest thing. Um, So experiment with that and then, you know, take some tips from Chris over here. Eat some tuna. Um, <laughs> not too much though light light no, protein not, on game days light protein 10 grams of tuna and grams. um i think that i think that was a good uh good episode right there so that is episode 30 of the no one told me hockey podcast chris good luck tomorrow thanks for hopping on buddy